Hello everyone, in this video we will share everything you need to know about the unmanaged listings, what are they and how to use them. If you are an active eBay, Amazon or Walmart seller and you want to manage your existing channel inventory based on Magenta data, then M3 Pro has got you covered. Using the unmanaged listings functionality, you can import your channel items to the module, link them to Magenta catalog and move them to your M2 Pro listings, all in a couple of clicks. After that, M2 Pro will take over and start managing these items automatically. Before we dive in, here are a few important details to note about the unmanaged listings. First of all, M2 Pro stores the unmanaged items in an individual tab under the listing section. For your convenience, items from a certain channel account and marketplace will be imported into a separate listing, along with the product-related data, such as title, category, product identifier, current quantity, price and status on the channel. Depending on the size of your channel inventory, it can take up to 24 hours to import them all. Now let us guide you through the process of importing and moving your unmanaged items into M2E Pro listing. Enable a dedicated option in your account configurations and save the changes. This will trigger M2 Pro to start importing your unmanaged listings. You can track the progress on the unmanaged listings page. After 24 hours, open the newly imported unmanaged listings. If necessary, you can reset the imported items by clicking the button on the main unmanaged listings page. It will take up to 24 hours to import them anew. Before you start moving the items to M2E Pro listings, let's get back to your account settings. There you need to link the items to Magenta products first. This will ensure correct synchronization of product data between the channel and Magenta. M2E Pro offers you three options to set up your product linking preferences. Option 1 is to enable the product linking feature and specify its settings beforehand. To do that, go to the Unmanaged Listing section of your account configuration page. Right after you allow m 2 Pro to import your unmanaged listings, adjust your Magenta product linking settings as well. And do not forget to choose a related store view. It will serve as a source of Magenta product data whenever you are linking the unmanaged item to Magenta product. Then save the changes. During the initial import, m 2 Pro will link the items to Magenta products automatically based on the conditions you set up. To find the items, use the filter in the product ID column of the grid. In order to be linked successfully, your unmanaged item and Magenta product should have identical SKU values or titles, depending on the parameters selected in your linking settings. The second option is to link the unmanaged items automatically after they are imported to m 2 e Pro. So even if m 2 Pro has already imported your unmanaged items, you can still link them to Magenta products based on linking settings. Just make sure that you have provided them in your account configurations. To apply the linking settings to the selected items, open the Unmanaged Listings page and submit the appropriate mass action from the drop-down menu on the top of the grid. By the way, if you decide to change your linking settings, don't worry, this will not affect the already linked unmanaged items. And you can always unlink the unmanaged item from Magenta product. Just submit the dedicated action from the menu and then link it to the another Magenta product based on the updated settings. The third available option is to link the unmanaged items manually after they are imported to m 2 Pro. Manual item linking will help in case some of your unmanaged items were not linked automatically based on the conditions you set up. Open the unmanaged listing page and click link next to the item. In the pop-up, click the button next to the magenta product you want to link your item to. When M2 Pro is done linking, the related magenta product ID will appear next to the unmanaged item. Finally, you can move the newly linked items to m 2 e Pro listings. To do it, click Move next to the item or move multiple items in bulk using the mass action from the menu on the top of the grid. In the open pop-up, select a relevant m 2 Pro listing for moving items. If none of the presented listings suit you, you can create a new m 2 Pro listing on the fly. Once the item is placed into the listing, m 2 Pro will automatically schedule the synchronization of unmanaged items with Magenta data. 
By the way, after the unmanaged item is moved to M2E Pro listing, you can relink it to another Magenta product. Watch our video tutorial to learn how to do it step by step. To start managing the imported items via M2E Pro, there is one thing left to do. Check whether the items are properly configured and have all the required data filled in. This depends on the integration in use. As for eBay, your unmanaged item should have a category assigned to it before moving the item to M2E Pro listing. But you won't need to assign any categories manually. If the item's category is already presented in M2E Pro, it will be imported along with the default set of item specifics. For some reason, you may not see the eBay categories of the imported unmanaged items. To solve this, simply click the Reset Unmanaged Listings button and wait 24 hours until the items are re-imported. If the eBay category of your unmanaged item was not previously added to M2E Pro, you will have an opportunity to define the required specifics in several clicks, right before the items are moved to M2E Pro listings. As for Amazon, if you have variational items in your inventory, M2E Pro will import only child products with their own ASINs or ISBNs. Parent products cannot be imported due to the regulations of Amazon API. In order to manage child products under the existing ASINs, you need to link each child product to a corresponding simple product in Magenta. Then move the products to M2E Pro listings. Mind that this will not affect your variational item and how it's displayed on Amazon. As for Walmart, make sure to assign the category to your unmanaged item before it will be added to M2E Pro listing. We are almost done. Now let's recap the most important points from the video. Thank you for watching! Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out other videos on how to make the most out of M2E Pro functionality.